So what about the couch? I told you we're not getting that couch. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. So we're not going to get the couch? No, not the one you want. Nah, you know what? Sure. What up, bro? What's up, man? What took you so long? Man, I'm sitting here arguing with her. About what? She's talking about she want to get a leather couch. Leather? Exactly. You know leather gets sticky, sticky in, in the summer. summer. Why exactly. Would you even do that? That's what I'm trying to tell her. So guess what I said? What? I was like, bitch, I'm not getting no leather couch. You ain't say that. Yes, I did. Mm. Matter of fact, it's going wrong. I'm going to tell you something else. I do not know why women act like we can't make decisions. Exactly. Like I ain't got no sense of style. I've been looking at furniture since I was a kid. For real? Yeah, I've been looking at furniture my whole life. I'm like a furniture kind of sore. I believe it. And check this out. Remember that vacation I was telling you about? Yeah. So I tell her she's talking about something. Y'all talking about the couch? No, we ain't talking about the couch. Can you go somewhere? Uh-huh. Why the door ain't open here? Forget what she talking about, like I was saying. Remember that vacation I was talking about, right? right. She talking about she want to go to Miami. For real? Yeah. For what? Exactly what I said. I told her I'm trying to leave, leave the, the country, country and explore. explore. I be said. trying to tell her, man. She got brought in your mind. They don't understand, man. Like, I'm trying to go to Dubai. I'm trying to chill. So guess what I told her after she talked about Miami? What? I was like... I'm not going to Miami, I'm going to Dubai. You ain't say that. Yes, I did say it. Gotta stand your ground. Yeah, you got to. Well, I'm a man. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's go to the balcony right quick. I gotta tell you. Bro, you not gonna believe what she trying to do for the holiday. Where? She trying to go to her family house. Why would she do that? Exactly. She know her family don't like me. And I don't like them either. And she can't cook, right? Can't none of them cook. So while we sitting there talking, she talking about I want to go to my family house. Guess what I said? What? I was like, bitch, I'm not going to your family house. Stay your ground. Yeah, you know I had to stay in my ground because first of all, I don't like her family. Her fat ass cousin always eating up all the food, never say nobody nothing. Her mama can't cook. She been cooking for years and she still can't cook. How can you not cook after 45 years? Getting on my damn nerve. Hold on, no, let me finish. Cause I gotta tell you about this. And her uncle, ooh, when I tell you about her uncle, he drunk all the time. He probably a pedophile to be honest. I don't even know. She behind me. Hey baby, what a pleasant surprise. Go ahead, talk about my fat ass cousin. You know I wouldn't do Jamal like that. He just a little big bone. Right. You got me fucked up. What's up, man? My bad about that. I'm sitting here arguing with her over furniture. About what? So you know we ch we. Did I say about what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here arguing about furniture. About what? My bad about. <laughs> <laughs> Does it get hot and sticky in the summer? No, let's do it again. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Zip lane, zip lane. Damn, that's your girl? Sometimes. <laughs> what the fuck that means? You don't want to know. <laughs> Sometimes. Damn. Planes always flying. Niggas always lying. Babies in the bed, in the crib, steady crying. Ooh, need some milk from the titty, nigga. Matter of fact, I always been a shitty nigga. All my niggas, yeah, they pretty niggas. <laughs> <laughs>